It's the radio segment that just updated his phone by adding your mom as his emergency contact. Uh oh. Why am I insulted by that? Yeah. <laughs> it's under the word handcuffs. Okay, now I'm really insulted. Wow. It's Laser Stories, <laughs> the segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser, and those other spoon spankers just don't. <laughs> His first laser story is out of the amazing world of apps. Ooh. A woman named Jordan Darian recently shared her bathroom renovation project on her TikTok account. Okay, cool. And in it, she explained that she used 7,700 coins to cover her new bathroom floor. Wow. Oh, okay. oh. I saw this girl because I'm totally in the algorithm for renovation oh, stuff. Is this cool yeah. Then? Oh, yeah. Was it cool? Yeah, it was pennies, right? Is that what she used? That's or was right. it a different Ooh. person? Brooke, Brooke saw it. Jordan yeah. took 16 hours to glue thousands of pennies Whoa. down before sealing the creation with $300 worth of epoxy resin. And it looked pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds yeah. cool. Oh, that's, it, that's the clear stuff that hardens, it, re- right? it reminded me of, like, remember the old bar tops that would have be filled with coins? Or is that mm. just a no. small town? That I don't know what you're talking about. Like trash thing. Yeah. Okay, never yeah. mind. Or bar tops <laughs> covered with bottle caps. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same okay, difference. I, yeah. I, I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. That was until one of her followers pointed something out that was shocking to her. Oh, I didn't oh. see anything shocking. And that was, there may be a coin that she glued to the floor that could be worth a lot of money. No. <gasps> no. I thought they were pennies. Well, that's Is it like a wheat penny or something? Experts started weighing in, and sure enough, Jordan had glued a rare 1943 copper alloy penny to the ground. Oh, no. That's Whoa. worth more than $80,000. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, what? Oh. Break the floor, I don't know pennies could be worth that much. <laughs> she said, quote, I may have made a very big mistake by not checking the oh. pennies prior to permanently uh, adhering them to my floor. I wouldn't have thought that either. I didn't even watch her whole video. I was like, ah, pennies on the floor. Boring. Cool. Let's move on. <laughs> she said, I had no idea a penny could be so valuable. Wow. Ah. Oh, that, my gosh. So hurts. what can she do now? Yeah. Apparently not much. Uh, Everything's all glued in. And if she tries to take the penny out, yeah. it'll ruin it. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. And now, unfortunately what? for her, every time she goes to the bathroom, she's reminded of her $80,000 <laughs> mistake. Well, but when she resells, she can say, my bathroom has $80,000 yeah. floors. Yeah. It's Good kind luck. of like a bank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this next laser story is out of Santa Rosa, California. A man in Northern California noticed something suspicious on one of his big pieces of farming equipment the other day. Hmm. It was a guy's hat sitting on top. Okay. And after he went out to inspect it, he immediately figured out the problem. A random dude was stuck inside it. <gasps> oh my God. Stuck in, inside the farm equipment. Yes. Oh, the great him. farmer called the cops and explained there was a total stranger stuck inside a machine that's used to circulate air across grapes to oh. stop them from freezing in the colder months. Oh. And he had no idea how to get him out. Can I do that? <laughs> Gosh. I like how the man, like, oh, let me take my hat off. I wouldn't want to ruin it. Yeah. And then climbed in. Firefighters and police responded, and they discovered the man had been in there for two straight days. What? Oh, my no God! Way. He's still alive. So why did he climb in there in the first place? Yeah. The 38-year-old said he had a logical explanation, and that was that he liked to take pictures of the engines in old farm equipment. You gotta climb all the way in there, buddy? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I love grapes would have been a better excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only problem with his reasoning is the farm equipment was brand new. Oh. Also, oh. the guy had absolutely no camera equipment with okay, him. Okay, well, see? Okay. <laughs> that was too random. But he did have quite a bit of meth in a little uh, brown bag. It's a piece oh, of weird. Why? Yeah. Because I said so. He thought of that excuse like, for two days. I'm on meth and I'm taking pictures with my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Authorities say the true motivation to climb into the farming equipment's fan shaft remains a total mystery. He was trying to steal like copper or some kind of metal. Let's just point to the drugs. It. Let's just yeah. say the drugs. <laughs> and he was charged with trespassing and drug possession as well as violation of a probation case. Okay, so oh, there's geez. some history there. Tough. If he was on meth, he was awake that whole two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Just raving in there. Yeah. <laughs> this next laser story is out of Food Factory headquarters. Ooh. Yeah. 
If you haven't heard the huge news, Mountain Dew's Baja Blast flavor is back in stores for summer. Oh, Double yeah. Oh, my God. It's exclusively what does it taste at Taco like? Bell. It's like a refreshing breeze. Oh, it is. Oh. It's very good. <laughs> that really explains things yeah, for me. it's really good. Like Jose said, normally you can only get it at Taco Bell. Yeah, it's exclusive. But there's actually even bigger and dumber Baja Blast news that I need to share. <laughs> oh. Really? Because there's also a new line of air fresheners on the way. Oh, oh. He said it tasted like refreshed air, yeah. so that makes sense. I work in their marketing department. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Part of a new line of summer room scents. Oh. And Mountain Dew says you can enjoy them while gaming big time at your place. Oh, yeah, man. that's what I'm going to do. Nothing that says put together an adult like going yeah. in and smelling like Tell Mountain, Mountain Dew. Tell your girl back. Yeah, you ready to do the Dew? Girl? Okay. They haven't said how much the air fresheners will cost, but they'll hit Mountain Dew's online store later this month. <laughs> smell that. Yeah. It smells like code red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also in food news, six months ago, rumors were flying that Hershey's had a new breakfast-inspired chocolate bar on the way. What? And Please tell me it has bacon in it. Yeah. Even though it took some time, the moment has finally arrived. You can now indulge in a special fruity cereal Kit Kat. Mm. Oh. Interesting. Not the, it's got white chocolate, like doesn't Fruit it? Loops it's always got Kat? white chocolate. Didn't I just oh. pitch a Snickers Kit Kat mashup for a Snick Kat? Yeah, you did. I don't okay. remember <laughs> that one. Did we do that one? Just a little while ago, I pitched that, but we're getting a closer. Just based on the wrapping, it looks like the cereal flavor was inspired by Fruit Loops. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're like, really bright. Yeah, like but they don't have they don't chocolate. have an o- official collab with Fruit Loops, no. so they can't no. use those yeah. words. <laughs> it looks good. It does look like good. a confetti Kit Kat. Yeah. yeah. Thing. And the Kit Kat fruity cereal bars are a limited edition offering, which means you never know when they'll be disappearing from the shelves. Oh, forever. you're making me feel you frantic always say about this, it. And you never bring them in for us. Yeah, that's good true. Really frustrating, yeah, Jeffrey. Samples. Well, just ask Jose. He's probably going to buy them all. <laughs> I'm going to eat them all, though. <laughs> this next laser story is out of blankety blank blank city. Oh. oh. New research has shown that people are doing a lot more bleeping these days, uh, otherwise known as cussing. Mm. Else. I knew that you were on the wrong page <laughs> yeah, there, I knew a lot Jose. Of I, knew a lot of yeah. this, so. I had to clarify. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the scientists found that six in ten people say strong language like the F word mm. is just part of their daily lives. Oh, no, she yes. did. You know, it's amazing yeah. to me that I could turn it off for I this know. show. It's the weirdest yeah. thing. We have signs in studio that are like, treat all mics like hot mics. Here. I thought you were going to say you turn it off for your kids, but no, you meant at work. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> not work. She gets home, she's like, no. hey, your mother. My yes. daughter yesterday it was like that's adult language mom oh. and I go I know I'm talking to another adult mind your own business a, a, th- <laughs> a third of people say they use strong language more than they did five years ago and 46% of Gen Zers say that they swear daily yeah that's probably yeah. true for Alexis because five years ago she was 12 yeah, yeah. yeah. that makes true. sense was she's not still, allowed I'd get yeah. grounded she's still learning the words <laughs> the, the research also found that just because we're using it more very strong language still has the same shock value yes and it's still considered taboo. Creamy. Okay. Yeah, it does. Whoa, why was that? Yeah. <laughs> That's dirty. Dirty language. Are we it did that? feel dirty. Yeah. They also found that if you use acronyms around kids, yeah. like WTF, the meaning of that is rarely ever lost on them. Oh. And therefore, it should also be considered strong language. <laughs> what? Kids so we know. have to cut that out, too? That's what they're saying. Oh, like, for example... <laughs> Excuse me, Humper, but that's my new dress shoe, WTF. Oh, yeah. I what saying there. Yeah, he knows what I mean. But, but it's a very polite voice I, He's still not stopping, though. No, doesn't care. That sound means Laser Stories has come to an end for the day. We'll do it again same time on Monday.